Pulet. Pulet. Oh, got a got to brush up on my Polish spelling. I believe that's Polish. What is CZ in Polish? Pulet. Oh, I can look this up. How's it pronounced? Ch. Okay. Pulet. Okay. I haven't, probably haven't pronounced the other parts right, but there you go. Would a drone planner in the style of SketchUp for Web plus Rotor Builds parts be useful for anybody? Think of moving parts, trying different mounts, TPU around, and wiring, and seeing the center of mass. An open source project for this could be started. I would say if that sounds uh, fun for you to work on, go for it. Um, I guarantee you that the utility that people get from it will be much less than the amount of work that you put into it, which doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Um, like it's kind of cool, but I'm not sure how like practically useful it's going to be. And it kind of goes back to, so like you're going to model these parts, right? You're going to model flight controller, model frames, but shit changes so fast that like, it seems like keeping that database up to date is going to be damn near impossible. Um, and then like, what are you going to do? Are you going to, I'm going to get this flight controller in this frame. Okay. Well, we know the frame has 30 millimeter mounting. Like how many questions are you going to answer by simulating putting the flight controller in the frame? You know, oh, I can route the wiring. Well, I'm just going to route the wiring, right? When I get it, you know? So it sounds fun, but I'm not sure. Like if you were to charge a subscription for it, I don't think many people would buy it. And I think you'd put a ton of work into it. Uh, but if it sounds like a fun project to, to do, then obviously you should do it. You know, there needs to be lots of people just doing fun things because they find them fun and challenging. And then sometimes those turn into, you know, actual productive, profitable, you know, really useful things, even though it didn't seem like they, they would.